May I call I'm you back to, there, sir? I'm going to see him tonight anyway. Yes, I know. And so, uh, I don't want to bother him, but I just wanted to report to him that I'd arrived. Mr. President, could you hold one moment? Yes, I can. Thank you, sir. Yes, Harry Truman. Talk. Yes, sir, Mr. President. How are you, Lyndon Johnson? Well, my goodness, alive, Mr. I'm mighty President. glad to hear your hear your well, voice. I, I thought I'd report that I'd appeared, and I thought maybe if it's after, after if it was convenient to you after lunch, I'd like to come over and pay a call. To well, you. I've got a good old friend of mine. Why don't you come and have lunch with me? Oh, my goodness, alive! Come over here. I, I, come over here about one thirty, and. Uh, uh, you can walk over here, and oh yes, uh, I'll I'm going to I'm uh, going to have a little press conference in the next uh, oh I guess it's about twelve o'clock. I'm just going to let them yeah. come in and tell them I go for the weekend. But if you want to come over, say twelve forty-five, one o'clock, while we'll uh, say howdy to the boys, and then you and I and Dr. Frank Doby, an old friend of mine uh, that you've met down in Texas two or three times with Rayburn. Uh, uh, he's here, and we just have a quiet little luncheon, well, and uh, uh, you you come and eat with us, and uh, just I'll, give you, I'll give you I'll give you I'll give you a snort or two, but I won't put you on a helicopter. <laughs> I won't put you on a helicopter. Oh, all right. I told. I'll obey the presence. You know, I always do that. <laughs> all right. Especially when it's you. Thank you, Mr. President. Now I'll be over. Wonderful to see. You. Thank you.